Single-use plastics or disposable plastics are used only once before they are thrown away or recycled. These items are things like plastic bags, straws, coffee stirrers, soda and water bottles, and most food packaging. Additionally, there are a limited number of items that recycled plastic can be used. Plastic waste can be found everywhere. Plastic bags, which are made of polythene, causes pollution all its life, from manufacturing to disposal. Its production uses up to 8% of our oil resource. Its manufacturing process is harmful to the environment and it remains toxic to the environment after you throw it away. In this project, we will use plastic bags as our only material. Our goal is to make a statement neck piece out of it. These are the things that we need for this project. Flat iron and some wax papers. Fold the plastic bag into four. Place it between two wax papers. Fuse together the layers of plastic using flat iron. Peel off the plastic from the wax paper. Iron the other side of the plastic. The goal here is to fuse layers of plastic to create a leather-like texture. This will also make the material durable. You can also fuse several sheets ahead of time so you have enough supply of plastic bag leather for your other projects. You may also use different colors of plastic bags if you want. But for this project, I prefer to use only white. I would like to create a neck piece that looks organic, though it's made of single-use plastic. I believe we cannot really eradicate the use of plastic, but the most that we can do is to minimize the use of it. We also need to reuse or recycle plastics. For now, we don't need to go to the junk shop or trip shop for our project supplies. We need to look for some materials in our own home. For sure, there are lots of plastic bags sitting in your drawers. Why not try this project with your kids? Just make sure the adults will be in charge with the flat iron and other gadgets. One of the advocacies of our company, Brian Hill Creations, is to promote recycling and upcycling of materials particularly the single-use plastics. Here in the Philippines, this is one of the major problems the government is facing. Our country ranks third producer of ocean plastics. Most of the materials found were shampoo sachets, snack packagings, and soda and water bottles. Now let's make strips from plastic bags. Cut the plastic bags into one-inch thick strips and twist. This will serve as twigs for our project. Make around 20 to 30 pieces of plastic twigs. Fuse the plastic twigs using flat iron. Make sure to cover the twig first with wax paper or else the material will stick to the flat iron. This project is inspired by the morning glory plant. It is a ground creeper or vine with round leaves and has deep blue flowers. These are endemic on the beaches of Zambales. Most of our designs are inspired by nature. Growing up near the beach allows me to draw inspirations from different flora and fauna in the area. Several times, I get inspirations from the seaweeds 
and also from colorful fishes like the scorpion fish and parrot fish. The color combinations the nature create are so serene and remind me of home. I consider fashion jewelry as an art. It gives me freedom to express my thoughts and feelings in a wearable form. It creates an escape from daily toxicity. It is my therapy. It's time to trim the red parts. These are due to the red prints made on the plastic bags. Let's go back to the plastic sheets we created a while ago. We will create round leaves from it using three different sizes of templates. I use whatever materials available as my templates. Here I use a jar lid, bottle cap, and a cosmetic jar. Using a pair of scissors, cut the leaves. Again, we will be creating three sizes of leaves, making the project look more organic. Now it's time to connect the leaves to the stems. I use a soldering tool to connect the parts. You may also use glue gun if you want to. But for this project, I am committed to use only plastic bags as my sole material. No beads, no metal components, just plastic bags. As an artist, I want my pieces to look differently from their natural forms. Just like this neck piece, no one will know that this is made of plastic bags unless you take a closer look or watch this video. By the way, why do I share my trade secret to you guys? It is because as an artist, I believe I cannot run out of ideas. People may copy my work from time to time, but I will always come up with a batch of new, fresh ideas. Several times my work was copied by some self-proclaimed designers, but it's okay. They can keep the design. Crying over spilled milk is not my forte. Move on, move forward. In the midst of the soldering tool thing, I realized I should have used the glue gun instead. Anyways, just for the sake I keep my words, I will continue to use this stuff until I connect all the leaves and stems together. My plan is to make the neck piece eccentric. The bulk of the leaves would be on one side of the necklace, leaving the other side almost barren. This is to create a flowy, natural feel of the neck piece. It can also be used as embellishment to a gown. Again, Try to check the connections of leaves and stems, making sure nothing will fall off. You can also incorporate other materials to this project. Sea glass and drift woods are the next best things for this. What is the most unusual material have you used for your project? Well, I know someone who uses animal bones for his artworks. Although he guaranteed that most of his materials are ethically sourced. For us, we will stick to the plastic byproducts until such time people will stop the manufacturing of single use plastic. There you have it, the Morning Glory neck piece made from plastic bags. Thank you for watching and please click the subscribe button and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Brian Hill Creations. Please comment down below the fashion jewelry you want us to make and we will try our very best. Again, thank you so much and God bless.